Hello Club AU, fellow AU owners, paddy bashers, drifters, road users, skid pens, people, whichever. This is my August 1998 built AU Falcon XR6 VCT and uh, I've had this car for 17 years. She's done 176,000 kilometres. Got Bilstein shocks at the front, uh, urethane bushes all around. Uh, Rear shocks are Munro's but need to be replaced. It is so difficult to get quality, you know, performance shockers, uh, dampers for um, for an AU with IRS. So as far as, I got my letter from Ford. This is obviously the car is, um, there's about 7,000 made. There, this is one of 300 with Galaxy Blue. Uh, similar with this number number with this engine trim options a bit less but it's, as far as options go one of 18 so she's a bit of a rare bird so let's go have a look inside real quick my other car is a 2017 Toyota 86 GDS which is my daily that's black so there's one rip on the back seat from I put a big, big big TV in there and it got snagged. But I can live with that after 17 years. But my favorite part of this car, as far as interior goes, new headliner, Tickford embossed logo. Love it. Bloody love it. Uh, paid trim by Mooch 250 to do the headliner. They use the strongest glue you could get. Um, did a killer job. The guy's a genius. He's also a restorer. His father used to work for my best dad's best friend, Phil Casey's crash shop. And the paint jobs they do out there at One Tree Hill and the trim he does is phenomenal. He's been busy, busy for two or three years on cars. I reckon if you rang him now, he'd probably be still the same. Although I think he was crook as a dog recently um, after working too hard. So... Just day in, day out slog at his place. Anyway, so yeah, she just hasn't got the Momo wheel. Um, but besides that, I've painted painted here. I've got to, got to clear coat those now. Put the Tickford logo there. Had a spare one laying around. Let's get back out. Have a look in the, in the back. It's pretty shit weather out here today. This car hasn't seen the road since May, but I started up every two or three days. Um... But yeah, she's a, she's a sweet ride, I've got to say. Yes, she does need some mechanical checking over now. I'm sure it's um, got a leak somewhere. And um, I want to get new rear shocks. I want to get a trans service done. The engine bay hoses in the car are actually the originals. The lenses are original. I've got to get them changed as well to LED if I can. But I just wanted to talk about this car and um, what I do with it as far as you know, caring for it appearance-wise. Now, I've been a detailer for 28 years. I've been, been in America working over there. My mentor is a, for 10 years, is a chemist and a manufacturer and a former detailer himself 40 years ago. And he's an absolute genius and has taught me everything I know, all the best stuff I know about detailing. And uh, most of you probably aren't into that, and it's all right. You're more interested in making this thing making the car go fast or hard or whatever you want to do than that and I totally understand that all I'm simply going to say is what I how I clean this car um, and it's quite simple I use one product and one product only I don't use foam guns I don't use buckets in a traditional sense optimum no rinse there's the full strength version there's the diluted version there's a 1 to, one to 50 ratio so I've used this since 2002. I do. I didn't get rid of soap until about three or four years ago. I just decided soap had to have its day. No matter how dirty it is, rinseless is still superior because you can spray the whole car with it as a rinse, as a pre-soak, high pressure it off, and all of the gain you get from foam gunning and all that other crap is void by that. So you know, I've always believed in each to their own. Everyone should do things the way they want to do them and they shouldn't be forced to do things because someone has a better necessarily has a better way, even if it is better. 
everyone has to do things their way and that's okay so well, I'm simply I'm not selling the stuff I'm not telling you to buy it I'm simply saying this is all I do because this car has an issue whereby when I used to high pressure high pressure wash it some water no matter what would end up in the boot where the spare wheel is and I don't want this car to rust um, she is now coming up to what's she now 23 years old She's going to be on Club Rego eventually, historic Rego, whatever you want to call it, in five years, which is awesome. Five years, not seven years. Seven years. I'm thinking it's 2023 already. Uh, so yeah, I decided just to. It doesn't get. All I do is I spray the panels thoroughly, soak them, have uh, the towel soaked in no rinse solution in a bucket, dip, bring them out squeeze them out a bit, glide them gently over the car and then I just dry it and it's done. It's its own drying lubricant, you don't need anything else. It does the windows, does everything else and there you go. But also the reason why this car has such nice trim is because back in 2006 I developed a bit of a, what I would call a custom blend. Not a, not, a, not a product from scratch but a custom blend of a few different products. One of them being a natural silica gloss enhancer and sealant and it the way I mixed it up allows you to machine or hand apply it to wiper arms to wiper blade arms to the trim on here not that so much because that's a different material but all this trim across here the B pillars this one here and here and it will darken it and keep it that way for a long long time this has been done so I've got brand new ones of these which are dull as. The biplane spoiler has been done as well. That way, it's called Trim Dream. I just sent a bunch of it off to my mate in the US with his business that I helped set up. He's got a shop out there in Idaho. And i um, going to be using it over there. And the natural silica basically allows you to turn a dull piece of trim, as long as it's smooth or semi-textured, into a lovely dark wet finish for years so um, I may make some and give some out um, some of it is solvent based it has to be otherwise it it won't darken it because as soon as you start pulling off some of the black dead layers it turns the pad black and if you don't have the solvents to handle that residue it won't gloss it up simple as that um, but yeah, pretty much, as you can see, I've done the blade, blade arms. So anyways, whatever you guys do with your cars, you know, you trash them, you take them out to places, to the dirt racing, whatever you do, it's all good, man. I'm not against any of it. It's your car, you do what you like with it. Uh, you know, um, it's up to you, but I'm just simply saying what I do to this car, it's all I, what all I, all I do with it really, is, is that. So, and that's why she's pretty good for her age. But, um, I do want to get some mechanical work done on it, but I've got some far bigger things going on that I need to attend to which for the next, probably, year. So she's going to have to wait, and that's annoying. I want to repaint the front bar, the front bar. I do want to um, do the rear bar as well and the side skirts because there's a crack on each one of them. Uh, but you know, shit happens. Time and money, whenever that allows, it'll, it'll, it'll get done. But until then, I'm going to continue to love this thing. I reckon we'll, <coughs> we'll see the value of these cars go up even more. You know, because there's only so many XRs, there's only 7,000 of these made in total 7700 or something like that and the XR6 from series 1, 2, 3 according to Ford so yeah anyway that's it from me uh, have a great great Monday have a great day and uh, a great week and it's just good to see people back on the you know using the uh, the page and I believed in this car back in 98 even before I saw one on the sh on the showroom floor 
I bought one in the 90 in when they came out, bought a Forte that was lowered, had custom seats, custom everything. It had the book the front grille was painted, it was the only car in Australia that was had a front grille that was painted and um, had wheels machined to fit. She was a she was pretty good. But then I got this thing after that got wrecked, so there we go. Anyways, that's enough for me. Take care.